Persistence is very important. You should not give up unless you are forced to give up. Work like hell. I mean, you just have to put in 80 to 100 hours every week. Improves the odds of success. Don't be afraid of new arenas. Patience is a virtue, and I'm learning patience. It's a tough lesson. Take risks now and do something bold. You won't regret it. If the rules are such that you can't make progress, then you have to fight the rules. Your will is the most accurate way to predict the future. I think it is possible for ordinary people to choose to be extraordinary. You have to say, well, why did it succeed where others did not? Good ideas are always crazy until they're not. People work better when they know what the goal is and why. If something is important enough, even if the odds are against you, you should still do it. Life is too short for long-term grudges. I always have optimism, but I'm realistic. It was not with the expectation of great success that I started Tesla or SpaceX. It's just that I thought they were important enough to do anyway. If you need inspiring words, don't do it. Optimism. Pessimism. Fuck that. We are going to make it happen. As God is my bloody witness, I'm hell-bent on making it work. I could either watch it happen or be a part of it. There's a tremendous bias against taking risks. Everyone is trying to optimize their ass covering. When something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. The first step is to establish that something is possible, then probability will occur. I say something, and then it usually happens. Maybe not on schedule, but it usually happens. People should pursue what they're passionate about. That will make them happier than pretty much anything else. Don't delude yourself into thinking something's working when it's not, or you're gonna get fixated on a bad solution. I wouldn't say that I have a lack of fear. In fact, I'd like my fear emotion to be less because it's very distracting and fires my nervous system. I think that the single best piece of advice, constantly think about how you could be doing things better and questioning yourself. If people are putting in 40 hour work weeks and you're putting in 100 hour work weeks, then even if you're doing the same thing, you know that you will achieve in four months what it takes them a year to achieve. When Henry Ford made cheap, reliable cars, people said, nah, what's wrong with the horse? That was a huge bet he made and it worked. If you get up in the morning and think the future is going to be better, it is a bright day. Otherwise, it's not. My biggest mistake is probably weighing too much on someone's talent and not someone's personality. I think that it matters whether someone has a good heart. I'm interested in things that change the world or that affect the future and wondrous new technology where you see it. And you're like, wow, how did that even happen? How is that possible? I think that we have a duty to maintain the light of consciousness to make sure it continues into the future. 
It's okay to have your eggs in one basket, as long as you control what happens to that basket. Some people don't like change, but you need to embrace change if the alternative is disaster. I would like to die on Mars, just not on impact. I think you should always bear in mind that entropy is not on your side. People work better when they know what the goal is and why. It is important that people look forward to coming to work in the morning and enjoy working. Great companies are built on great products. There have to be reasons that you get up in the morning and you want to live. Why do you want to live? What's the point? What inspires you? What do you love about the future? If the future does not include being out there among the stars and being a multi-planet species, I find that incredibly depressing. I will never be happy without having someone. Going to sleep alone kills me. Any product that needs a manual to work is broken. When I was in college, I wanted to be involved in things that would change the world. To make an embarrassing admission, I like video games. That's what got me into software engineering when I was a kid. I wanted to make money so I could buy a better computer to play better video games. Nothing like saving the world. Really, the only thing that makes sense is to strive for greater collective enlightenment. We're running the most dangerous experiment in history right now, which is to see how much carbon dioxide the atmosphere can handle before there is an environmental catastrophe. There's a silly notion that failure is not an option at NASA. Failure is an option here. If things are not failing, you are not innovating enough. Brand is just a perception, and perception will match reality over time. Sometimes it will be ahead, other times it will be behind. But brand is simply a collective impression some have about a product. Rockets are cool. There's no getting around that. I think life on Earth must be about more than just solving problems. It's got to be something inspiring, even if it's vicarious. Starting a business is not for everyone. Starting a business, I'd say, number one is have a high pain threshold. I always invest my own money in the companies that I create. I don't believe in the whole thing of just using other people's money. I don't think that's right. I'm not going to ask other people to invest in something if I'm not prepared to do so myself. It's very important to like the people you work with, otherwise your job is going to be quite miserable. If you go back a few hundred years, what we take for granted today would seem like magic. Being able to talk to people over long distances, to transmit images, flying, assessing vast amounts of data like an oracle. These are all things that the world could have considered magic a few hundred years ago.